Hi what's up guys. Welcome to daily video vocabulary. A daily dose of new English phrases and words. Brought to you by English Tweaks. Hello English learners. Welcome to daily video vocabulary. Episode number 5. Whenever I think about why we are here on this planet, the best answer I can come up with is to love one another. Love is, by far, the most beautiful, exhilarating and mind-blowing emotion we can experience. It has its ups and downs, it may lift you up, it may bring you down. It might make you the happiest person in the world, it can also put you through hell. Anyhow, we all need somebody to love. In this episode, we are going to introduce you to some of the most common English idioms about love you may use when talking about this wonderful feeling. Number 1. Fall in love with somebody. Basically it means to start feeling love towards somebody. Let's see an example. I think I'm falling in love with my best friend. What should I do? Number 2. Love at first sight. Basically it means to falling in love with somebody the first time you see them. Let's see an example. My wife and I met at a party. It was love at first sight. Number 3. Match made in heaven. Basically it means a relationship in which the two people are great together, because they complement each other so well. Let's see an example. Do you think Matt and Amanda will get married? I hope they will. They're a match made in heaven. Number 4. Beloved Dovey. It means expressing your love in public by constantly kissing and hugging. Let's see an example. I don't want to go out with Jenny and David. They're so lovey-dovey, I just can't stand it. Number 5. Puppy love basically it means short-term adolescent love. Let let's see an example my son is only 12, but he's already in love. Isn't it a bit too early? Don't worry, it's only puppy love. It won't last. Number 6. Double date. Basically, it means two couples going out together on a date. Let's see an example. I'm so glad you and Tom's brother are an item. From now on we can go on double dates. Number 7. On the rocks. Basically, it means if there are problems in a relationship, we may say it's on the rocks. Let's see an example. I wonder if they will call off the wedding. Their relationship seems to be on the rocks. Number 8. Love rat. Basically, it means somebody who cheats on his slash her partner. Let's see an example. Don't even think about asking Jane out. How could you look your wife in the eye? Don't be a love rat. Number 9. Pop the question. Basically, it means to ask somebody to marry you. Let's see an example. So, did Ben pop the question last night? No, he didn't. He just took me out for dinner and that's all. Number 10. Tie the knot. It means to get married let's see an example. When are you and Jenny going to tie the knot? This year, but we haven't set a date yet. Number 11. Blind date. Basically, it means when two people who have never seen each other before go on a date. Let's see an example my sister keeps organizing blind dates for me. She just love to fix me up with someone. Number 12. Those three little words. It means I love you, yes, that's exactly three words. Let's see an example. I think he loves me, but he hasn't said those three little words yet. Number 13. Break up slash split up. It means to end the relationship. Let's see an example. Have you heard? Marion and Joseph have split up. I wonder what went wrong. They were so good together. Number 14. Kiss and make up. It means to make peace after an argument. Let's see an example. Our relationship is like a roller coaster ride. 
we fight nearly every day, but then we always kiss and make up. I hope the above expressions have brightened up your day and made you happy, love is a feeling we should all experience and treasure. To stay in a good mood, why not listen to the king of love songs here or learn some idioms you can use to express how happy you are? Kindly share your experiences in the comment box below this video. Thanking you for watching us. To watch all the episodes of English Daily Video Vocabulary to better your English language skills and do subscribe to our channel. Stay updated with all the latest lessons. I will see you again with a new word or a phrase. Till then bye and take care.